home. First, I have to find the magic lamp. It's the only way to stop Scheherazade. But you don't know where she hid it. The lamp could be any place in history. I could tell you where it is. You could? Where? I said I could tell you. I didn't say I would tell you. Oh, please, Mr. Wordsworth. Why should I? You've left me sitting on this shelf for years, unopened, unread, collecting dust. Do you know that I'm allergic to dust? <laughs> Ah, who needs him anyway? He's so old, he probably doesn't even have all his pages. I beg your pardon, my text is complete and unabridged. Oh, Rodden, you're making him mad. Shh, that's exactly what I want to do. Come on, play along. You're right, Aladdin. Wordsworth couldn't possibly know who has the magic lamp. For your information, there happens to be a gravy boat which looks very much like the lamp on the dinner table of King Henry VIII. Uh, never heard of him. Of course you have. He was the fattest king in history. The 35th birthday of King Henry VIII. Thanks, Wordsworth. You've been a big help. I have? Oh, wait, wait a minute. You've tricked me. Yep, sure did. Let's go, Paige. We don't want to be late for dinner. Dinner? With the king? Oh, I'd be too scared. You go and maybe someday I'll read about it. But reading about it isn't half as much fun as living it. Oh, I don't know. Come on. It'll be the adventure of all time. What do I do? Just hold my hand. Sands of time, you must obey. Send us back to the king's birthday. Goodbye! 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 Have a safe journey! Goodbye and good riddance. Didn't think we'd leave without you. Did you, Wordsworth? I am not going anywhere. <laughs> Think again. I could have you arrested for shoplifting. Sorry, Wordsworth, but once I picked you up, I just couldn't put you down. Oh my, oh dear, my cake, my beautiful cake. Mmm, chocolate, <laughs> not bad. Not bad? This is horrible. And you're from King Henry's birthday cake. Am I going to explain this to the court? Oh my dear, oh. Oh, they're here! Who? The royal family, that's who! Excuse me, you're stepping on my skull elbow! Excuse me, I can't believe I was! Your fatness, your hugeness, your wideness, your obeseness, ooh, your bigness, your tubbiness. Cut the sweet talk, Baker! Where's my husband's cake? <laughs> I'm afraid it got smooshed. Maybe we <laughs> shall smoosh me <laughs> you. Stop that. <laughs> what gives you the right to come in here and throw your weight around? Who dares raise their voice to royalty? I do. Oh, I beg your <gasps> pardon, princess. Princess? You must be a princess. I've never seen such fancy robes. What kingdom are you from? Allow me to present Princess Paige of, um... Libraria um, Nitwit. Of course. Princess Paige of Libraria Nitwit. And who might you be? Certainly not a prince dressed in rags like those. Uh, he's my royal gastronomist. Royal, Royal what? what? He's my cook. Oh, then this little fellow must be your cookbook. Cookbook? Why, I never. You better if you don't want to end up a scrap paper. Madame, my culinary talents are at your service. Well, it just so happens that we are in need of a cook to prepare my brother's dinner. It would be our pleasure. Right, Wordsworth? My pages are rippling with excitement. Then it's settled. You're hired. 
Baker will be expecting another cake by dessert. <laughs> oh, yes, your fatness. Good luck. You'll need it. Swoo! <laughs> I'm afraid my cousin is very difficult to please. and We go through as many as three cooks a day. Let me guess. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes, and you should see how fat the lions are getting. <laughs> you mean, if the king doesn't like a meal, you feed it to the lions? No, 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 of course not. We feed the cook to the lions. Oh, the cook. <laughs> the cook? Anything else would be a waste of food. Come along now. It's almost time for din din. Watch out. I hope you know how to cook. How hard can it be? Recipe for turkey stuffing. After beating a dozen eggs with bread and water, add a pinch of pepper, a dash of salt, and a splash of sherry. Was that a, a pinch, a dash, and a splash? Or a splash, a dash, and a pinch? Here, read it yourself. Uh, I can't. I don't know how. I wish you hadn't told me that. Why? It's very hard to dislike someone you feel sorry for. Wordsworth? Yes? Stuff it! I beg your pardon. The turkey! Stuff the turkey. I'm gonna look for the magic lamp. So, <laughs> what's a nice book like you doing in a place like this? Hmm? Any sign of the lamp? This table is so long, I'm not sure what's on it. How's Wordsworth coming with the main course? Well, let's hope it's fit for a king. Presenting the royal family! Look at all that food! Isn't the king going to eat with us? Oh, I'll try my best. You're King Henry VIII? In the flesh. Or should I say, the bones. But you're so skinny. Yes, well, trying to live up to my family name has left me without much of an appetite. <coughs> Yo, bring out the bird! Your family name? The last seven Henrys were all larger than life. They stood firm like mountains and commanded respect. Me? I can't even go outside without blowing away. Children tie a string round my neck and use me as a kite. Do you know how embarrassing it is to get stuck in a tree? A turkey a la king. But your weight doesn't have anything to do with what kind of a king you are. It's like my grandpa always says, you can't judge a book by its cover. Truer words were never spoken. Is anybody going to eat that drumstick? Sorry, Countess. That's for His Majesty. What's that? Oh, oh, no, I, I, I couldn't possibly, thank you. Come on, it won't kill you to take one bite. But it'll kill you if he doesn't. Mm. Mm. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Well, at least the lions won't starve tonight. The lions? Your catnip cookie. Pass the gravy, Henry Dar. Wait a minute. None of this makes sense. King Henry is famous for being fat. Are you sure you're not hungry? Oh, I wish I were. <laughs> Something's different, something strange. I feel as if I've undergone a change. A monumental change. Please 
Breeze past the rump roast and pig's knuckles. Calves head and hot pastrami. Puffy bit and apple pastry. Pickled peppers and salami. I will eat up until I burst. Now that I'm what I'm supposed to be. I'll feast some more on liverwurst with cheese souffle and fried zucchini. I will masticate my carbohydrate. I will clean my plate of protein. I will swallow pit-a-pat every last morsel of fat. Now that I'm what I'm supposed to be, get me some pudding and be hasty. My discrepant is quite tasty. Pass the donuts, pass the jelly, pass the cheese that's kind of smelly. I'll indulge in gluttony. Now that I'm what I'm supposed to be. Your Highness. I must speak to you at once. Not now, Tambor. Can't you see I'm busy? Sultan, take out the royal garbage. Right away, honey bunch. Ooh, 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 my. Ooh, 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 oh, oh, dear. <laughs> you know, it's true what they say. A queen's home is her castle. Well, it won't be for long if you don't listen. All right, Tambor. Don't have a hissy fit. What is it? Oh, nothing. I just thought you might want to know that Aladdin found the magic lamp. That's nice. He what? Your Highness, uh, would you pass the gravy? My gravy! Come now, King Henry. Don't hog it. Mine, 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 mine! I can use some help, Paige. What do you want me to do? Throw the book at him. I hope he doesn't mean that literally. Sorry, Wordsworth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Come back here, you, you, you gravy thief. Run, Aladdin, run. Uh, I'm trying. <gasps> <gasps> Uh oh. oh. Uh, I think we've overstayed our welcome. Come on, Wordsworth. Where do you think you're going? Look, an all-you-can-eat dessert bar. Where? There. Oh, talk about your bookends. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Raise the drawbridge. Oh no, not again. Paige, help. Aladdin? <laughs> nice kitty. Very pretty, pretty kitty. Wordsworth, find the lamp. Wordsworth, found it. Magic lamp, I, I wish. <laughs> Just, what exactly did you wish for? Dandelions. What else? <laughs> Help me out of here. Oh, can I hold the lamp for you, princess? Thank you, Baker. No! Thank you, my <gasps> lovely. Scheherazade! Sands of time with power sublime, take me far from the scene of this crime! Lower the drawbridge! Let's get out of here! Historically speaking, heroes do not run away. In fairy tales, Wordsworth, we call it escaping. Good word. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. Where exactly are we escaping to? Wherever Scheherazade hid the magic lamp. In that case, count me out, because I'm not going there. Wordsworth, do you know where the lamp is? Well, I, I could take an educated guess. Don't leave us in suspense. You don't understand. I get seasick. Seasick? Who has the lamp this time? A 
pirate? Blackbeard, to be exact. The lamp's in his treasure chest. Magic Sand, it's time to flee. Take us to the deep blue sea. Me hearties, let us see what treasure this sunken chest contains. There's nothing here but sun, Captain. Here, and a couple of stowaways. Stowaways? Did you say stowaways? Oh, how exciting! No one's ever stowed away on me ship before. Welcome aboard. Who are you? Oh, I'm only the most fearsome, loathsome pirate to ever sail the seven seas. You're Blackbeard? Take a candle at me beard, Missy. Does it look black? No. And what color is it? Blonde. Now do you know who I am? Don't tell me your name is Blonde Beard. Aye, that it be. His grammar is atrocious. But his hair is beautiful. There aren't even any split ends. Well, thanks for noticing. I do use a seaweed and salt water conditioner. Excuse me, but we're stowaways, and you're a pirate. Shouldn't you make us walk the plank or something? Oh, right. I always forget that. Uh, thanks for reminding me. Oh, would you mind? Would, would we, we mind, mind what? what? Walking the plank. It would really impress the boys. No, no, no. You're not supposed to ask us. You're supposed to order us. All uh, right, but well, nobody follows me orders. Watch, I'll tell you. Ahem. Avast, you mateys. All hands on deck. Uh, lift that barge. Tote that bail. Oh, not now, Kevin. We're playing cards. Kevin is sevens. Go fish. You see what I mean? Nobody's scared of a pretty pirate. Real pirates have eye patches and peg legs. But all I have is a gorgeous blonde beard and a treasure chest full of sand. Shiver me timbers, what's this? Hey, could I see that? Oh, you can have it as far as I'm concerned. It's worthless. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Oh, it's that show of Long John Silver. Now he's a pirate. He's got a parrot and everything. Ahoy there, ye coward!